Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the design of mod 16 synchronous counter. So as per the discussion from the previous video, mod 16 counter means, mod 16 counter means this counter is used to count 16 number of clock pulses, 16 number of clock pulses. So how to write the 16 in 2 power, so 16 means 2 power 4. 16 means 2 power 4. So 2 power 4 decides the number of, represents the number of clock pulses, number of clock pulses and 4 represents, the power 4 represents the number of flip-flops, number of flip-flops. First immediately after giving a particular mod uh, synchronous counter, modular synchronous counter, we should identify these steps because these steps will decide the state diagram, food table, excitation table and the logic diagram. All the further steps are going to be decided only with the help of these two points. Okay. So, we should identify how many number of flip-flops we have to consider and then how many number of clock pulses it will count. Okay. And another thing, what type of flip-flop we have to use here in the question clearly given that we have to use a T flip-flop. So, Using four T flip flops, using four T flip flops, you are going to design this modulus 16 counter, synchronous counter. Okay, synchronous means all flip flops are having common clock pulse. Now, these are the steps I have taken the reference from the previous uh, uh, video. So, what are the different steps we need to follow when you are going to design a synchronous counter? So, this is the, the first two steps we have identified the number of states we have identified and the number of bits and the number of clock pulses we have identified the number of flip flops we have identified the next one is state diagram okay so let us do one by one step one step one so mod 16 mod 16 means 2 power 4 so we need 4 need 4 flip flops Okay, very very important to identify this. Four flip flops. Next step two. Step two means state diagram. State diagram. State diagram. So uh, four flip flops gives you sixteen number of clock pulses. So sixteen number of clock pulses means four zeros to four ones. Four zeros zero 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 one. Next, 0010, 0011, 0100, 0101, 0110, 0 one one zero one 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 zero and then four ones okay so this is what the state diagram state diagram you can represent in any way but the thing is it has to start from one particular state either uh, four zeros and goes up to four ones and again once uh, another clock pulse occurs automatically it uh, resets back to four zeros so the sequence will be like this sequence diagram or state diagram that arrow represents this arrow represents when a clock pulse is applied the count will go to the next state okay so here after 16 clock pulses it again resets to four zeros okay next coming to step three coming to step three in step three we are going to draw the a truth table followed by excitation table. So truth table, truth table. See here in step four we have taken truth table. The what we have done is step one and two is merged here. In our case, we have identified the number of states. We have identified the number of flip flops that we have done in a single step. That is the thing. Rest everything is common. Okay. So truth table. 
we have to consider present state present state next state present state next state and required inputs for the t flip flops nothing but excitation table excitation table excitation table inputs are always from the excitation table inputs are always from the q1 q1 plus 1 present state and next state okay so q3 q2 q1 q0 next state q3 give indication some bar q2 bar q1 bar q0 bar here bar represents next state so excitation table t3 t2 t1 t0 so here four flip flops we need four t flip flops so the inputs for the four t flip flops are going to be determined from this table okay so what do you mean by excitation table let us consider the excitation table here excitation table so excitation table qn qn plus 1 and t so present state next state and input for the t flip flop so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 this is the excitation table of the t flip flop okay this table we have taken from we have taken from the present state and next state what happens to the input of t flip flop okay now this we are going to apply in this big table okay see how we are going to do this very simple just a table looks bigger but it is very simple mm. see here present state present state is nothing but it starts at four zeros when a clock pulse is applied for the four zeros what is the next state next state is zero 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 one and similarly zero zero 0 1 is the present state when a clock pulse is applied our next state is this one and 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 and 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 again 0 triple 1 1 0 0 0 7 next state is 8 so 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero one 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 zero four ones one one zero one 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 zero so four ones what happens again next state is for one 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 or next state is zeros okay now look here take q naught See, take Q0 and Q0 bar, these two as one set and decides the input of the Q0, T0. So, 0, 1. 0, 1 means 1. From the excitation table, 0, 1 means 1. Here. Next, 1, 0. 1, 0 is 1. Next, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1. 0 1 1 1 1 I think we will get ones all ones for this see 0 1 1 0 0 1 ok all ones for this t naught next t1 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 is the input for the second t flip flop so t1 Take another color just for representation. Uh, T1 
टी वन क्यू वन क्यू वन डैश एंड टी वन सो जीरो 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 वन 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 जीरो वन जीरो वन सो वाट हेपन नो इट कम्स लाइक जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन लाइक दैट वट इज दट जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन सो नेक्स्ट टी टू टेक ए डिफरेंट कलर क्यू टू टी टू एंड दिस वन सो जीरो 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 नेक्स्ट जीरो 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 नेक्स्ट वन जीरो वन वन सो ट्रिपल जीरो वन ट्रिपल जीरो वन लाइक दट इट विल कम ट्रिपल जीरो वन अगेन ट्रिपल जीरो वन ट्रिपल जीरो वन ट्रिपल जीरो वन ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन क्यू थ्री क्यू थ्री बार एंड टी थ्री सो जीरो 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 सो फर्स्ट फॉर ऑल सिक्स फॉर ऑल वन सेट जीरो 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 दिस इज जीरो बिकॉज जीरो 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 नेक्स्ट हियर कमिंग टू दिस जीरो वन वन and again the remaining set again it is zero so and the last one is one okay so now what we are doing is we need to identify the boolean expression for t not t1 t2 t3 using k maps okay i am not doing that because you know how to do that using k maps so consider four bit k map consider 4 bit k map and determine boolean equations determine boolean equations for t not t1 t2 and t3 okay in terms of in terms of present state or next state present state always you go for present state not next state present state don't forget this present state that means q not q1 q2 and q3 not bars okay so finally we will get t not is equal to t not equal to 1 because by seeing the truth table itself you can identify and t1 is equal to q1 t2 is equal to q1 q2 and t3 is equal to q1 q2 q3 the and operation between these three so now the last one is logic diagram last step logic diagram so four flip flops we need consider four t flip flops okay so four t flip flops and the first flip flop is flip flop 0 flip flop 1 flip flop 2 flip flop 3 okay so take it as t not t1 t2 and t3 so t not is having input 1 so give a common input give a constant input like this and all the flip flops are having is same clock pulse because they are synchronous next one so what is the input for t1 t1 is nothing but q1 q1 is this one q1 q2 q3 q4 so t1 is nothing but q1 t2 is nothing but q1 q2 so t2 is equal to it is an and operation between this one and this one and this output is given to t2 and what about this one 
this is again under operation between 3 so already this operation is there so this one and this output these two are ended and given to t3 this is the output okay along with if you want to go for clear pins clear and preset pins they also represented here so clear bar clear bar clear bar clear bar and here preset pins preset and clear are the additional pins of the uh, clip lock which is used for making the clearing or setting previously before the operation of the clock pulse okay this is the design of the mod 16 synchronous counter using t flip flops okay whatever may be the flip flop suppose if you want to go for any other type of flip flop then you need to take that can uh, flip flops excitation table and thereby we have to determine the inputs for that flip flops and then this logic diagram okay thank you